Brooms down, eyes closed. Brooms up. 14 players race towards the center line. Broomsticks between their legs, dodging and passing balls around the field. A sense of magic hovers over UVic's center quad as University of Victoria students battle it out in a sport derived from a best-selling fictional novel. I just like that it's very lighthearted and fun. Uh, I've been involved in serious sports in the past and it's just nice to come out with these guys and have a lot of fun. Hey, keep it. Woo! This is Quidditch, a magical sport from the popular Harry Potter series. This non-magical adaptation of the sport is not quite the same as soaring hundreds of feet in the air on a broomstick like the original story. But UVic's Quidditch team has still accomplished a lot since it started two and a half years ago. The second year we like grew and like quadrupled our numbers and we actually ended up going to World Cup that year in New York and playing in a huge tournament and stuff. It was basically our first experience actually playing real Quidditch so it was really eye-opening. So the game goes like this. There's two teams, each with a few chasers who are trying to score this ball, the quaffle, through the opposing team's hoops. One goal is worth 10 points. Each team also has a keeper who is like a goalie and a beater who throws dodgeballs at the players. If a player gets hit by a dodgeball, they dismount their broom and have to run back to their hoops and touch up and then they can get back into play. And then there's the snitch, traditionally a golden winged sphere in the Harry Potter series. But on this field, the snitch is a person with a ball hanging out of their belt loop and the seekers are people trying to get that ball from the snitch. The game is over when that ends and 30 points are awarded to the team that pulls the snitch. The snitch is released. When the snitch is released, they're allowed to go almost anywhere on campus. One game, the snitch actually locked himself in his car and drove around Uvic's ring road. Other times we've had uh, snitches get on a bike or use props like Nerf guns or something like that just to annoy the seekers. I'm actually a huge Harry Potter fan and I'm rereading the series right now because I think it's just such a fantastic story. But some of the players here are saying you don't actually have to know the story to fall in love with the game. I've read the books, I've seen the movies, but I'm not die hard. The sport has grown away from Harry Potter a lot. Um, there's a ton of people who haven't even read the books. Like I'm a huge Harry Potter fan, but it's not just like a Harry Potter thing anymore. And although there's still a number of Harry Potter buffs on the team, it's really the passion for Quidditch that's kept this fictional game alive as an official sport. In Victoria, I'm Jen Moranitz. <laughs>